I, I had a tough time. I played Seiko in casuals as Lucky Chloe. Like, just the basic options. You make it, He makes it feel like it's Kazumi or something like that. Just one, down forward one, 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 and then the, uh, the tracking high or, you know, the steppable mid. It's tough. You've got to make a decision. Are you ready? <laughs> she says, are you ready? Space Channel 5 is making wow. a return in Tekken. Is that what it is? Hey, man, she looks like a Space Channel 5 character. Do you remember that game with Dreamcast? Of course. You know, I know they made a sequel, and I never played it because it didn't come to the U.S. I've been meaning to. Mm. Ooh, gets a float. He committed to the stance, though. That's too bad. Oh, interesting. Goes for the upward bicycle kick. Oh, no. That command grab is so good. Man, look at the watch the offense of Seiko. This is going to be the most oppressive you've ever seen Seiko. It's going to be a much less defensive Seiko. Goes for the backspring. No punish for Time Man. Look at that. Time Man kind of flailing a little bit. He's just really, really worried about the next time Seiko gets in. And here we go. Here we get a nice wall carry. Okay, Sunflower. Oh, this could be it. Yeah. Oh, the shoulder. The shoulder hit so hard it was a fatality. It went all the way through. <laughs> it was a cross-up shoulder. Yeah, we got to see an X-ray attack there. Okay, just waiting for Seiko. I think that's the right idea. Uh-oh. Just trying to chip his opponent out. Gets the sidestep on the down for one. That thing is tough to deal with. Because, like, when you duck in this game, you're usually doing it quick. You're doing, like, a fuzzy guard or something like that. And that move, the spinning armor tracking move, it spins. It's, a, it's an armor tracking high that's safe. Wow, look at the damage on Lucky Chloe. Yeah, it's crazy. Look at that punish on the hope kick. Hope kick. I like that. Here we go. Attacking the shins here. Seiko fighting from a serious. Uh, you do not want Seiko on the run, even with Lucky Chloe. But Todd, man, fighting back, saying you might be Seiko win all these tournaments, but I... Oh, look at oh. that. Just barely. I thought Time Man had that. Me too, man. Man, I'm kind of speechless. There we go. That counter hit the knee. You don't want to get hit by that. It's like Brian. Brain Fury. Brain Fury? Yeah. I used to think his name was Brain when I was a dumb little kid and couldn't read good. Uh, that move right there. Armor, tracking, and safe. And she can combo off it on counter hit. That's ridiculous. It's crazy. Actually, I think they might have removed the combo except uh, in the wall, at the wall. Look at that hob kick whip punish. Oh, no, not able to close it up, but that's okay. The oppression, the raw oppression. I think he caught time in trying to sidestep there. Time man, not being very familiar with this matchup. You can see he's not very familiar with the uh, punishes to do on Lucky Chloe when he blocks. Goes for the 10-hit combo. Come on. That's crazy. Look at that. That move right there. Oh, by the way, it jails. So even if you block the first couple hits like high, you can't duck the remaining hits. Really? Yeah, it is a an armor tracking jailing save high. Wow. Almost all the boxes checked. And only The only weakness it has is that it's a high, but you really got to commit to ducking. And look at that. Seiko going with that super on block, closing it out, going 1-0 over time, man. Oh, man. He is actually staying true to Lucky Chloe. Wow. Well, he's locked in. He can't change. There's that thumbs up. Mm, okay, Seiko giving us a thumbs up with the Lucky Chloe. I feel like this is the troll character in the pro Tekken circuit. Yeah, man. It's like, you know, who plays Lucky Chloe, number one? And then number two, if you do play Lucky Chloe, it's always that thing. If you're not good with her, you don't know how to fight her. You know what I mean? And if right. you are good with her, you still don't know how to fight her. So it's kind of like a double-edged sword. You know what I mean? Yeah, her and Eddie. I feel like people say that they're not that great or low tier or whatever, and then you see these pros doing serious work, ending up in grand final at Tekken World Tour, you know, major events and stuff. Here we go. It's a show of force. It just goes to show you that if you understand Tekken, uh, it, it, it's a showcase for two things. One, this is a balanced game. Because even the characters that are considered some of the worst end up in grand finals, at, at top eights, in majors. And two is that if you understand Tekken, it's just like us with Street Fighter, how we can pick up any character. These Tekken guys, once you understand the system, you can pick up any character. That's very true. That's very true. Look at that counter hit on the forward one plus two. No. Oh. Time man, going for that shoulder, trying to get Seiko to duck, but Seiko staying See, strong. You have to commit to that duck. Seiko did that, the spinny move, the one plus two spinny move from downtown. And it still made it all the way over to Time Man. Mm. Time Man loves doing a uh, jab and the sidestep move. <laughs> That's such a good move. Yeah, it's a good thing to do in this game, I think. Go plus one and a sidestep. Try to avoid your opponent counter poking. Ooh, goes for the delay. Interesting. Oh. Just barely missing each other. Backspring over the snake edge. 
Again, a second backspring. Seiko is playing with his food at this point. Seiko is saying, I'm the champ. You got to beat me six in a row. I got to beat you. Look at three. that. Four down forward, one side steps in a row into the low. Time in. Getting one for himself. One step closer to that run back. One step closer to the reset. Don't forget to blow in the cartridge. <laughs> Don't forget to blow in the cartridge. Everyone had their ritual. What was your ritual? Uh, I would put it in the freezer and uh, <laughs> let it freeze. Are you serious? Yeah, man. Nintendo cartridges were annoying. Because think about it. Like, every time you, like, you know, you'd have, like, your friends be blowing in it, and then you, like, blowing it right after, and they like, all that, you know, like, dust and spit. And you'd be like, man, I can get it to work. So I used to do is I used to put it in the freezer and, like, put it in there, and it actually would work. You know what I mean? Put it in the freezer? That's the first time I ever heard that one. I'm yeah, going to have to try that one from now on. Hey, man, you got to put it in the freezer, man. <laughs> It's a cartridge. It is also it looks like an icicle. That's like that's like as crazy as saying like yeah, I just take it for a drive. Uh, we just go out at night and go down the you know around the block or something. I was a blower. I, you know I tried blowing in it and at first we tried blowing into the corners and then we did like doing that, mm. like sighing into it, just like you know expressing your disappointment. Yeah. And it's even more interesting how you take the cartridge, you put it in the window, you kind of like slam it up and down like that and rub it. We used to do that too. Yeah, the slammer. Mm -hmm. The trampoline. Mm -hmm. Seiko staying committed to Lucky Chloe here. He really thinks he can do it with this character. I don't like it, but I mean, you know, Seiko's very talented, so he can do anything he wants with the character. I just feel as though if he's going to learn a secondary character, he's got to learn that, you know, secondary cool character, man. I, I'm not a Lucky Chloe fan, man. Who do you think his secondary should be? I feel like this is not even his secondary. This is like his seventh or eighth theory. Like, he plays so many characters. Honestly, I say he should play Paul. Yeah, well, he does play Paul. We've seen him play Paul in tournament. Paul is such a powerhouse, man, and like he is the epitome of Tekken. If you duck, if you if you duck or you stay standing, I got something for both of them. Yeah, the 50/50s are strong. Although I feel like was he one of the characters that got nerfed in this latest patch? I think they, I think he was. I don't know if he got nerfed. I'm not sure. Man, those guys better be careful. I feel like that helicopter pilot is not concerned with safety. <laughs> he doesn't even have his belt on. Okay. Who says there's anyone in the helicopter at all? Oh, that's a good qu That's a good point. It could be Dr. B. That's why he's, like, passing out in there. You said Boss Conovich? Is that yeah. what you said? Yeah. Man, how did I know that stream? Because I'm old, because I played Tekken 3. Could be Gun. He can't reach the pedals. Gun? <laughs> Man, he said Gun. <laughs> oh, the little dinosaur. Ooh, there we go again. That move is so crazy. Oh, the hop kick. There it is again. Seiko, I feel like he's just going for like uh, two or three options. Jab, down forward one. We see that that little sweep low there. And then hop kick. Okay. Time man needs, <coughs> needs to go low a little bit more, man. He's, he's, he's doing a lot of frame traps and doing a lot of pokes, but he's not really mixing it up with lows, man. Ooh, look at that. Gets a whip punish. Not too much of a capitalization off of it. I think he was just kind of doing it. Oh, Ooh, he didn't break no it. throw break. Whoa! Oh, the evade. It's going to work. It's going to work. This one goes to Time Man. Gets him right in the armpit. Good lord. Time Man using that evade. She's ticklish there. It's extra damage. It's a uh, guaranteed counter hit. This combo is going to hurt. <gasps> oh, that's going to hurt. Man, Seiko, how is he so crispy with like a second character or like a fourth or fifth character like this? Man, he loves Tekken, man. When you love Tekken, you can do anything. When you love Tekken, you play Tekken. Mm -hmm. Ooh, there he goes. Okay, going underneath. Gets himself a nice little combler. Eating his peach comblers. Oh, oh shoot. Going to the wall. Here we go. Oh, wow. What a convert. Let's see if he can convert. No, he doesn't get the back one. Ty Man was a very close hit the wall, man, but he drops the combo. Yeah, I feel like maybe Ty Man hasn't been playing that much. He's showing his uh, the wear and tear of not coming out to his weeklies. That's uh, not eating his Wheaties and not coming out to his weeklies? Yeah, not eating his Wheatleys. <laughs> Wheatleys, uh, I like that. It's good. Yeah, man, it's good for you. Coming to your Wheatleys. Ooh, snap. Look at that. The movement sidestep again with that throw. No break. The oppression, man. Look at this is something Seiko does, too. Like, his, his movement is so good. His backdash is very, very strong. But he'll just stay in your face just to try and elicit that button. And just when you feel like it's time to press that button and, and like, you know, silence Seiko a little bit, you get out of my face, Seiko. That's when he does that knee in your face. Counter hit. Shit daisy. Time Man is like, he picked this gimmicky character on me. I'm about to put some hands on you right now. That's what Time Man is saying. Seiko being confident. Say, even if you beat her, I still got Dragon off. Well, he's not doing too bad. I think he's doing pretty well for himself. That's true. Okay. 
ducks the high. Bam, the sidestep, the evasion, there we go. Counter hit, the stands low. The ankle choppler, the Achilles. Okay, a little bit of a whiff punish here, not too, but not too much on the hop kick. It can be tough, it can be stressful. Those things recover pretty quick. Ooh, going for his own back turn uh, snake edge. I can't even get my words straight. There we go, oh, the wall damage, good lord. That, Time in. That shoulder's amazing, I love that shoulder more than anything, even though it's unsafe. But it's just when he hits you with it, it feels so satisfying. So I've heard that in the lore, Fung is, or Fang, depending on what you want to do with your life, uh, whether you want to grow up and be a fireman or an astronaut, uh, is like the strongest character in the lore. Really? Yeah. Like, and there's something about how he moved a mountain one time, like punched a mountain over. K.O. Really? Which is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. It sounds like some Akuma stuff. Yeah, but even stronger than Akuma. No one stronger than Akuma. Hey, what's the coolest thing Akuma ever did? He just chopped a sub in half. Uh, actually, he destroyed an island. Yeah, well, did he destroy the whole island, or did he just make it, like, barren? I uh, mean, he destroyed the whole island, Alpha 2, remember? Yeah, but he destroyed it, but Ryu was still alive. Well, he wasn't trying to kill Ryu. He was trying to scare him. He was just trying to destroy the island. He's like, oh, I hate this island. <laughs> it's too hot here. All right. Ooh, gets the tailspin. Should get... Ooh, yeah, he gets the wall. Oh! A second shoulder? Don't be greedy. I think Time Man was being pretty greedy right there. Gee, Bobby, how come your mom lets you have two shoulders in your combo? <laughs> Yeah, Seiko's character can't stay up past late, past 9 o'clock, so Seiko might be sleeping right now. Lucky Chloe might be going to bed. Yeah, could be, could be. It looks like she's dressed for bed. Exactly. Kind of. exactly. Looks like a cozy little overcoat she's got there. Half PJs. <gasps> Hope, look at that. Striking that extended limb with the hop kick, but not able to get a combo because it's a little too far. Okay, breaks the glass all the way from downtown. Interesting. Okay, plus frames, sunflower, hop kick. A second wall push goes for the camera trick. No bite though. Seiko's looking strong here. Oh, little bit oh. of a punish. One two, one two. Yep. Microphone check. One two, one two. You know, you wonder what Lucky Chloe's listening to right now as she's fighting. Um, the Beavis and Butthead experience probably. Come to Butthead. <laughs> Come to Butthead. <laughs> you ever heard that? Yeah. Come to Butthead. <laughs> I mean, that was course. a good song. It was a, it was a great movie. Leave wow. somebody head to America. <laughs> what a clock on that low. Gee, many primblers. Both players right now face each other out as always. Time Man with the command grab. He actually Pizza gets time. it. Let's go, Spider Man. Oh, whiffs the sweep. Seiko not, uh, not punishing that whiff. <gasps> I've never even seen that move before. We're going to call that move the Space Jam. Oh, snap. Time Man looks like he's about to tie things up. He might get this reset yet. <gasps> oh, it's Seiko with his arc kick. Rage is a factor here. No, he doesn't get the tailspin. Oh, my lord. Anyone's game. <gasps> All oh, tied up Seiko. Seiko. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky Chloe. He's his battle cry. I don't, I, he really didn't expect to take that with Lucky Chloe, I think. Time in. Gracious.